Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the TV show The Terminalist Season 1. The Terminalist Season 1 is a television series on Amazon Prime, directed by Antoine Fuqua, whose most notable movies include Training Day, The Equalizer 1 and 2, The Guilty, Southpaw, Shooter, and more. This show looked really interesting to me, and I'm a big fan of Chris Pratt, so I wanted to check it out. The synopsis is as follows. James Reese returns home after his entire platoon of Navy SEALs is ambushed, only to discover new dark forces working against him and endangering the ones he loves. Without further ado, let's get into the six things that make a TV show great. One. The plot. Near the beginning of this series, we get to see James Reese and his platoon get ambushed. During this ambush, Reese suffers severe head trauma. He returns home with headaches and hallucinations and begins questioning what's real and what's not. But one thing he seems to know for sure. The ambush of his platoon was no accident. With the help of his best friend Ben, he sets out to find out who's behind all of this, if there is anything behind all of this, or if he really is just crazy. I thought this plot was very well done. It did a great job of carrying you from scene to scene and episode to episode, and the level of intrigue continued to grow throughout the entire series. For me, it was just as page-turning as Jack Ryan or Reacher, and it was really hard for me to not just binge-watch the whole series in one evening. But for me, what set this show apart from those is that it seemed a lot more grounded and real. Compared to those other shows, there seemed to be less of a chance in this show for there to be a deus ex machina or some convenient coincidence that comes in and saves the day. And that made it feel a lot more realistic. I did say that I caught on to something pretty early in the series and I predicted the end of the show, but that's because I was looking for it. It wasn't that obvious. The storytelling in this show is excellent. Plot gets a huge thumbs up. Two is family friendliness. Part of the reason why this show is not family friendly is because of that realistic nature I was talking about. There's a lot of profanity, there's blood and gore, there's some really disturbing moments, and there's an incredibly brief moment of nudity that was completely unnecessary. So family friendliness for me gets a thumbs down. Three is acting and script. Going into this show, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to take Chris Pratt seriously in a serious role. And while it took me a little while to warm up to him, I think he did a great job. As soon as your mind gets on track with the fact that he's not going to ruin a serious moment with some silly joke, you start to be able to see him in a different light and understand this is a different role than he's acted in before. I think the Tomorrow War may have set him up to act in a role like this, and I think he did a great job. Taylor Kish, Kith, is an incredible actor and one of my favorites, and he does a great job in this film as well. As well as Constance Wu. The role she plays in this series is different than other roles I've seen her in as well, but again, I think she did a great job. All of the other acting performances were pretty good, but those three really stood out. And I really enjoy the script of the show. For the most part, dialogue between characters is very well done and polished. So acting and script for me, get a thumbs up. Four is character development. You get to see a ton of development with Reese's character. This show did a good job of using flashbacks to establish the depth of his character and help you understand what motivates him and why he's doing what he's doing. And his character becomes one that's really easy to empathize with. You don't get to see as much character development with Ben or Katie, but they give their characters just enough depth for them to matter, and I thought it was really well balanced. Character development gets a thumbs up. Five is visuals and CGI. The gunfights and fight choreography in this show are pretty well done. They were intense, they were realistic, and you weren't inundated with jump cuts that made it disorienting to follow what was going on in a given scene. I will say that throughout this show, I think they could have increased the ISO on a lot of their shots. For those of you who don't speak camera, it means increasing the bright of a scene in general because a lot of the scenes in this show have a darker bluish hue that can make it challenging to watch at times unless all other light sources in the room are completely off. Other than that, I really enjoyed the visuals in this show. So for me, visuals and CGI get a 50-50. And six is rewatchability. From start to finish, this show is incredibly intriguing. Season one only has eight episodes, and each episode is about 45 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes long, and I really enjoyed it overall. Even though I predicted the ending of season one pretty far off, it didn't stop me from enjoying this series. Even though The Terminalist is set up for a season two, they did a pretty good job of wrapping up season one so that it's its own project, which makes it all the more rewatchable to me. So for me, rewatchability gets a thumbs up. With all these areas considered, I have to give The Terminalist Season 1 an 
5 out of 10. This series had a couple disturbing moments in it, but it was action-packed from start to finish, it was incredibly intriguing, and it had good performances from actors who were not in their usual roles. I enjoyed this series more than I thought I would, and I was happily surprised. So if you're looking for a mysterious, action-packed series with a great story, and you're a fan of Chris Pratt, I would definitely check out The Terminalist Season 1, available on Amazon Prime. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen The Terminalist Season 1, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your love and support, and I'll catch you guys and gals in the next one.